Rudolph in Peru writes to me, Paul, among other PS Audio gear, I own one BHK S250 power amplifier. That's our stereo BHK amplifier, great amp. As per the manual, this amp cannot be bridged to use it together with another similar power amp in a stereo setting. Why was that PS Audio choice made? Is there a technical downside to making a stereo power amp bridgeable? Should I still wish to use two BHK 250s in my stereo setting? Is it possible to input two right line cables into one amp and two left line cables into the other and buy amp my speakers, thereby effectively using the full power of both amps? So the answer to the last part of the question is, yeah, sure. You can use essentially two, you can get two BHK 250s, they're stereo amps, and use one split up in a bi amp situation for the left channel and the other in a bi amp situation for the right channel. Piece of cake. That people do that all the time. Now, the question about bridging, why you can't, why did we make the decision to not allow bridging? Well, that's a pretty simple answer, and that is because the amp is already bridged, <laughs> and you can't bridge it again. So all the BHK series amplifiers are what we would probably more accurately call balanced. So they are balanced outputs, balanced inputs, which means that the plus red speaker terminal, the black minus speaker terminal, they, they all have this back and forth output that goes to your speaker and drives it differentially, drives it in a balanced sense. So many amplifiers are what we call single-ended, which has ground, which just sits still, and then the plus terminal is going up and down like this and relative to this flat. But a balanced amplifier is going like this, and the BHK250 is already balanced, so that's why you can't do it again. <laughs> All right. Hope that answers your question and gives you kind of an idea about balanced amplifiers. And, and yes, feel free to use those in a bi-amp situation. That'll work just fine. Okay, thanks. Bye.